So there's been something that's been brought to my attention. Janet Yellen mentioned something about the 14th Amendment, Section 3, when dealing with economic stuff. And this is alarming, and I'll get into it, as well as my opinion on, on uh, the issues with the Constitution. Uh, so I'll just read an uh, article for... <laughs> Amendment 14, Section 3, in its entirety, and, and this the highlighted part is the part that's uh, alarming. So, no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elected of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States, or as a member of any state legislature or in an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States shall have in, engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same, or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by vote of two-thirds of each house, remove such disability. Um, so basically, Janet Yellen brought this up in a point to enforce the bullshit. Uh, who is... Give me a second. Uh, this this may be. Who the fuck is Janet Yellen? I know she's head of the FDIC or some fucking tyrannical. Uh, city, oh, oh, states. Secretary of the Treasury. Oh, that's why everything's fucked. Uh, sec she's Secretary of the Treasury. Um, so she was. So she's insinuating uh, the Section Three. Basically, to um, uh, let's just say hypothetically in five years, the government bans the private ownership of gold and silver and they ban the freedom of economic of moving money from banks. Because what's going to happen in the future here that I, I'm alleging here is that America will be so bad financially because the BRICS nations, uh, Brazil, India, China, India, South Africa, Russia, are starting their own economic union, and uh, they're they're investing in gold heavily, so they're preserving the value of their uh, currency, whereas America just keeps printing more, keeps wasting more money in foreign conflicts and wars overseas. That's not going to be benefit us one iota after everything's been leveled. It'll benefit the people at BlackRock, Rock, which now that I think about it, um, I, I do believe I have a uh, uh, let's see, this is a clip. I think it's a picture. Hold on. Oh, it's a video. So let me cue this up as I think about it. I'll, I'll mute this shit because. So, who's this meeting with Zelensky? Hmm? Who? Who? Which, which, let's see. So this guy here meeting with Zelensky and shaking hands. And Zelensky, I think, is meeting the other cabinet members of no other group than BlackRock. And this should be alarming to everyone because BlackRock is the uh, current current uh, conglomerate that's buying up people's lands, properties, and houses and denying people from buying lands and houses because they want to control the world. So BlackRock is shaking and meeting with Zelensky after Zelensky levels everything in a war with Russia or vice versa. Russia levels, you know, their stuff. So basically BlackRock, they smell that money, baby. And they're, they're going for it. And Zelensky smells that money too so that's that's why uh even in the news recently ukrainian military's leveling structures for tactical advantages that could be used against them but in reality they're just they're just it, it's it's free um demolition so blackrock can come in and rebuild everything after they've defeated the russians uh but yeah <laughs> to get back on track sorry so basically uh, Janet Yellen is suggesting the idea of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment um, to, so let's say if private citizens want to take all their money from the banks because they the uh, economy's taking a giant, like, wet fart, and uh, then with this, 
Section 3 of the 14th is that the government can say, wait a minute, you're, you're, you're drawing money out of American banks and you're keeping that money yourself? Yo, you're funding enemies of the state, aren't you? You're, you're, you're hampering the United States. So you can kind of see where the idea of them using the Section 3 against the, the American populace and Americans economically. Um, and this is where we're, I think we're already past the, you know, the, the, the bullshit, uh, was that, like, 1984 George Orwell's, well, we've been well pay, past that since 2001, when they passed the Patriot Act. And even back then, and I think to this day, the government can still seize monies and financial estates, properties, and shit like that, if they believe you've been funding terrorists or supporting terrorism. So basically, they're trying to advance the Patriot Act and all this financially, so basically, the robber barons, a.k.a. our government and politicians, can steal more of your money in the name of civil service protection and, and the protection of the American way. And that's, this should be alarming to everyone. And I didn't even know this existed to this day until someone pointed out, of course, this is post-Civil War. Uh, but if you guys don't know the American Civil War, the South and the North had a skerfuffle. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, the tyrant that he was, uh, basically subjugated the South and basically, you know, took it over for the rich elites up there in New York and the, the East Coast. And that's basically what that was. Uh, both sides, uh, I, I think, on the level had uh, good motives for fighting the war, one to, you know, unify the Union, one to keep their independence and, and states' rights. Um, and the North basically just used slavery as a reason to conquer and subjugate the South. They, uh, in all reality, people in the North had slaves too. That's the dirty secret uh, that they don't want you to know. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, like what this is, is for Janet Yellen to even suggest this is pretty haram in my opinion and it sends up the red flag that oh shit uh you should probably um i don't know uh <laughs> stuffing money in a mattress isn't exactly safe but it's safer than having a bank having their dirty mitts on your money and when the fbi the cia or the government comes knocking at a bank they tend to comply so, uh, I don't know, I'm just advising gold, silver, and money you should probably have and store in your own location or hide in your own treasure chest buried underground somewhere. Because whenever there's a third party that's got their mitts on your money, your, your commodities and your assets, that never ends well. Uh, even if it's well-intentioned with a lawyer. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, basically, uh, there was also this case in, I think it was California where, uh, they busted some guy that was connected to MS-13 or some crime family. So basically the FBI busted into the bank and went through everyone's safety deposit boxes and kept all their shit. And this was people who weren't even like related to to the crime the the crime lord or the crim, like criminal action so the fbi came in and literally stole everything in the safety deposit boxes and there's people uh, i think to this day still trying to get some of their shit back because some of it is paper deeds family heirlooms gold silver and and like other private possessions so when the banks are that complicit with the government and we have this section three of the 14th amendment Am I right? Oh my, yeah, it's 14th Amendment. Uh, it, it, you should be deeply concerned. And as far as financial freedom and as far as that goes, and as far as the United States banning gold, the United States did ban the private ownership of gold in the 1930s with that communist wannabe wife piece of shit of to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR. I think his wife was a deep-seated communist, a real bitch. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I get this. So here's some more history for you since we're on the subject. So in the 30s, they banned gold. The senators banned private ownership of gold. And what they did is, uh, oh, you, you can't own it, but you can turn it into us for, for some cash. But the senators and congressmen uh, left them out of that law. So basically, the senators and congressmen said, oh, we can own gold. 
because we know better and we know who the enemy is those damn huns in germany <laughs> so that's why all the senators that are in power now or congressmen that are in power now have so much fucking money today because their ancestors in the past uh banned the private ownership of gold at least till the end of world war ii i think and so they, they basically robbed people of their gold, and people who didn't turn in their gold, they seized with treasury agents, Thompson submachine guns. Yes, this is a part of our American uh, history, you know, the, the democracy that's so much more righteous than these Eastern Slavic authoritarian countries or these Middle Eastern authoritarian. See, the democracy or democratic republic can steamroll and buttfuck you just as easy as any authoritarian dictatorship. And when you have someone like George Soros buying up district attorneys, which, you know, if someone buys and, and like it places people in power, this section three can easily be used against political enemies, uh, foreign and, uh, or most likely domestically in the chance to not only steal their shit, but leave them destitute broken in prison and basically the best thing about it is you you can say they've been funding enemies and you can then take that to the media and have the media parrot your bullshit opinion and then you're destroyed at that point once the government steals all your shit so uh yeah that's this section three of uh 14th amendment check it out yourself and uh basically yeah, um, maybe this is YouTube, I can't advocate, no one can advocate for things, but the one thing I can advocate for is, uh, make sure you have money, gold, and silver, and make sure that's in your possession, or some way of a private possession and security that's not, that doesn't require a middleman, a lawyer, or someone that can fucking steal it from you, say, like a bank or federal government. Um, uh, I don't think there's such thing as private banking? Uh, that, that's probably f someone who has, for people who have a greater mind and gray matter. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's getting crazy out there. And what used to be a democratic republic is starting to look like a banana republic. So yes, it's getting pretty banana republic-y out there. Uh, even here in the United States, look out everyone, watch your ass, protect your wallets. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.